ABC 26 Live at 5. Welfare fraud busts in Brown County. The owners of a bar on the northeast side of Green Bay are accused of misusing Quest food share cards, allowing hundreds of people to buy alcohol, tobacco, and get cash. Cassandra Duval has our big story at 5. The investigation into Beach Road Liquor began in April, but this week two search warrants allowed law enforcement to get records at the store and at the owner's home, and it showed thousands of dollars of unauthorized sales. This was very shocking that there were that many transactions coming from that location. More than 1,200 transactions in May alone, adding up to $10,000 in sales. When people commit fraud, it hurts those that are truly in need. According to the sheriff, customers were allowed to buy alcohol or tobacco with their Quest cards, something not allowed by the state, while the owners allegedly charged cardholders twice the value of the items. It's really our economic support caseworkers that are diligent and watching the activity of the, the transactions, and, and they're the ones that tipped us off. The names of the four suspects, including a juvenile, haven't been released. They're also accused of using Quest cards that weren't theirs, buying the cards for cash. And our whole message today is not that people are receiving assistance should be afraid that law enforcement is going to be over-intrusive in investigations. Investigators searched the liquor store owner's home. The sheriff says he does not want to discourage people from using their cards correctly. If they're complying with the rules of the Quest card and if the employers are complying with that rule, there's no worries. The business is currently open, but they cannot use electronic transactions. And the sheriff has a warning to others misusing Quest cards. And let this be known that Brown County will not tolerate the fraudulent abuse of benefits that are intended for those families that truly need those benefits. Charges for this case have been referred to the district attorney. Together, 365 people used their Quest card at the liquor store in May. The investigation continues to see how those people could be charged. But the charges referred to the district attorney for the owners are expected to come down sometime next week. Live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Cassandra Duval, NBC 26.